Dara, welcome to Bradford City. How does it feel to be here on loan until the end of the season from Burnley? Yeah, I'm delighted. I can't wait to get started. How has the move come about? What's brought you here? Uh, I met the gaffer during the week and I had a good chat with him. I watched the game and I'm, I'm, I see the type of football you play and I'm ready to come help you. How big of an attraction was he, a manager that obviously your manager at Burnley knows very well, a, a manager that's done a lot in the game and is a, is a huge name sort of worldwide in football? Oh, definitely. Especially as a player, he was brilliant, like one of the best. So I think I can learn an awful, an awful lot from him. And as a manager, he's brilliant. He's coached in the Premier League, done it, done it all. So I think it will only help and benefit me. Vincent Company have anything to say about him? Yeah, Vinny has a lot of good words to say about him. He's a good guy, good manager. So I'm hoping to learn a lot. Like you say, already been to a couple of games at Valparaiso, it's experienced the atmosphere. How was that and it added to your excitement, I guess? Brilliant. The fan base is unbelievable here and I can't wait to get out and play on the pitch. You've spoken to the gaffer. What were those early conversations like in terms of how you fit into to what we're trying to build here? Uh, he said to me I, I suit the style of play and that I can help them to get the promotion. So I'm hoping I can do that and really fit into the squad. We know you're a forward player. What can people come to expect? Hopefully goals. Hopefully goals I can help you with. And just I'm a hard worker, I run myself to the ground, I, I like to think I'm, I'm a decent enough player as well, so hopefully I can help you with that. Fairly versatile as well, goals, is that mainly what you pride yourself on, getting into attacking areas and, and making things happen? Yeah, I think so, I think I'm, I can be dangerous in the final third and I can help out the team by getting goals and assists, I just can't wait to start. Speak to us a little bit about your experience, obviously you started in, in Ireland and come over to Burnley and have, have spent the past few years there as well. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a difficult transition at the start but I, I would never go back to playing League of Ireland anyway. I love it over here and I'm hoping I can stay here for a lot longer. Spent last season in the under-23s, so quite a successful season, I think ended as the top goal scorer and earned yourself another contract. What kind of an experience has it been then making the transition into a first team environment? Oh it's been brilliant. Uh, Vinny's helped me out a lot, giving the young players a chance and just the experience of playing at that level is, is unbelievable, something I'll never forget. Like. You started the season, obviously, playing for Burnley in the first team, quite good form as well. That must have been a great experience, playing championship football and enjoying yourself at that early start of the season. Oh, I thought it was unbelievable. The fans, like, playing in front of that many people is something I'll never forget and I'm hoping to kick on at that level and continue on in my journey in football. And coming to a club where, again, the fan base is passionate and turn out in the numbers out of Valley Parade, as you've experienced, I guess that must be exciting for you as well. Yeah, definitely. Like the fans here are unbelievable, they make a lot of noise, so I'm hoping they'll give me a good welcome when I turn up on the pitch. Are you the kind of person who thrives off an environment like that where the pressure's on and you're playing for points, playing for livelihoods and the supporters are getting behind you all the way? Yeah, definitely. I think I'm, I'm a very prideful player, so I'll, I'll give my all every week and I'm hoping that that's enough to help. You've obviously spoken to the gaffer. What's that been like in terms of you fitting into what we want to achieve this season? You've spoken about coming here and being successful. Promotion is the aim. Is that something that you're determined to achieve? Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm hoping I can help the team out in any way I can with goals and assists and really give it my all and hope that we can get promoted. Have you got a final message for those Bradford City supporters? Um, looking forward to be out there. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>